My name is Paula McGuinness. I'm a therapeutic practitioner and I'm one of the safeguarding leads at the Buckingham School. Sexism and misogyny are ingrained in our society. Um, we've noticed that there were more incidences of this kind of behaviour popping up in school. Um, this came to the forefront of everything with the, um, the murder of Sarah Everard and the subsequent media coverage of that. After that became the Everyone's Invited website and this started getting us thinking about what is going on in our community, what is going on in our school and how we'd like to tackle it. The first thing I did was um, go on the UK Feminist website. Um, it's a really good website that shows you how to do your next steps. Um, I undertook the UK Feminist online teacher training that shows you how to address misogyny and sexism within schools and how to tackle it. Um, I did an audit from this and to see what, what we've got in place and what we need to do. Following on from this, um, I wrote a standalone policy on sexual harm, sexual violence, and then incorporate sexual harassment, and also a flowchart to go with it so that staff know what to do if a young person discloses any kind of incident of, of sexism, misogyny, or sexual harassment, they know what to do and how, the, how it all flows. After this, we did some surveys. I wanted to know what was going on within our school and um, our students' views and opinions on lots of different matters. So we started with the UK Feminist. Uh, um, the basis for the survey is online. We surveyed students, we surveyed staff, and we surveyed the parents and carers. And I got a great responses from all of them about what is currently going on for them. I did some assemblies for the whole of the school, all the year groups, about sexism and misogyny. I introduced terms to them they may not have heard before, such as what sexism is, what misogyny is, and how it can be harmful to, to young people, and particularly harmful to girls. Um, once I collated the information from all the surveys, we came back in the new year, and I presented the findings of the surveys to the staff on our inset day. Following this, I did further assemblies to introduce the findings to all the year groups about what they're telling us um, and introduced further um, words that were relevant to them, such as sexual harassment and also what constitutes this. So we're having, we're constantly talking about this now. Um, there are posters up around school that show that sexual harm and misogyny is unacceptable and we're continuing the conversations. I've set up a group for girls um, that we talk about um, empowering each other, empowering young females. We chose this way of doing it because what's, what we found is really important is to have a whole school approach to addressing this, these behaviours and addressing sexism, addressing misogyny within our school. It needs to be a whole school approach where we're getting everybody involved in having the conversations from the staff to the parents to the students. People are more aware now of what does constitute acceptable and unacceptable behaviour and what are people allowing to happen and more and more people are talking about it and we are getting more disclosures from girls and from boys. Students feel more confident with talking about it and, and talking to a trusted adult about any experience that they're having regarding sexual harm or misogyny or sexism and therefore able to report it and talk about it and, and proportionate responses can then be considered. The training and resources from UK Feminist were brilliant. They're a good starting point is to get introduced to how to um, talk about sexism and misogyny and what to do next. The, the resources were helpful, they're easy to understand, and there's also things on there for parents to have a look at and for students to have a look at too. The value that it's given to us as a school is that we're talking about these, um, we're having these conversations now, we're talking about sexism, we're starting to understand what that means as a society, we're starting to understand how it impacts our young people and our community around us. The advice that I would give to anybody considering taking action is to just do it, just go ahead and do it. It might seem at first like it's a really daunting prospect, you're not quite sure where to start. Start with UK Feminista, have a look at the resources and go from there. It really isn't that difficult and you can start making changes very quickly.